Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this overhanging beam. This is an overhanging beam and there is a uniformly distributed load acting on only the center part of the beam. The load magnitude is 4 kN per meter and this is distributed over the length of 5 meter while the 3 portion, while the 3 meter portion of the overhanging beam is unloaded and similarly here this part of the beam is also unloaded. So we have only load, uniformly distributed load of 4 kN per meter at the center portion of the beam. So we have to analyze this beam to find out the support reactions and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. Now to start with the support reaction let's consider that this is support A and this is support B. So they will provide the reaction in the upper direction in order to resist this load. It will be RA and it will be RB. Now there is a shortcut way to find out this, these two reactions RA and RB. One method is to use the summation of moment at any point equal to zero and finding the summation of moment at any point and then you can find the support reaction. The other way is a very simple and easy way that is I will just multiply this load with the distributed length and I will find the total load and then I will divide by two because this is distributed over the two supports. So let's see the simple way. So 4 kN per meter is distributed over the length of 5 meter. So 4 kN per meter multiplying it with the 5 meter because it is distributed over the 5 meter. So meter meter will be cancelled and I got 20 kN. So this means the 20 kN load is acting at the center of this beam. So of course this load will be divided by 2 because one because this support will take half of the load and this support will take half of the load. So 20 divided by 2 will be equal to 10 kN. So it means Ra equal to Rb equal to 10 kN. So each, each, so each support reaction take the load of 10 kN and 10 kN. So this is the simple way to find out the support reaction when there is a symmetric beam and symmetric loading on the beam condition. So this is the simple way to find out the support reaction when there is a symmetric loading on the beam. Now to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram, I will simply draw the reference lines. So these are the reference lines for the shear force in bending moment. So the first one is for the shear force and the second one is for the bending moment. So shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton and then bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter. So to start with the shear force starting from this point so there is no load acting on this portion of the beam and the distance of 3 meter so I will simply start from this point which is 0 0 reference so I will make a straight line because there is no shear force so 0 shear force and then there is an upward reaction of 10 kN so upwards so I will move this in upward direction of 10 kN then there is a uniformly load acting in the downward direction and this magnitude is 4 kN multiplied with the 5 we got 20 kN. So 20 kN load is acting in downward direction but it is uniformly distributed. So it should be kept in mind that, that I will now subtract this was plus 10, this was minus 20 is acting in the downward direction but it is uniformly distributed. So 10 minus 20 equal to minus 10. So it, I will bring this line up to here minus 10. So it will move like in this way. So this is the shear force for this portion of the beam and then there is a load of 10 kN acting in the upper direction. So this is 10 again. I close the box and then there is no load acting on the beam. So I just make a straight line. So this is the way how to draw the shear force. I started from this point from 0 0 there is no load. Then there is an upward load of 10 kN. Then there is a downward load acting of magnitude of 20 but it is uniformly. So I will make a inclined line. So 10 kN minus 20 equal to minus 10. So I will bring this into minus 10 value because below the reference line there is a negative value. 
So minus 10 and then there is upward of 10. So I move this in upward direction and then there is no load. So I again make a straight line. So this is positive shear box and this is negative shear box and this is the shear force diagram for this beam. Now we will take help from this shear force diagram to draw the bending moment diagram. So similarly, this is a zero line. So again, there is a zero zero reference line for the bending moment and the bending moment will also be zero because the shear force is zero. Now this is a positive box. So it will be positive bending moment. So we will find the area of this triangle. It is a triangle. You can see the height is 10 kN and this is base. The base, the simple method to determine the base is just dividing this 5 by 2. So I got 2.5. Ah, the other method is, this is 10 kN is acting an upward and minus, there is a force that acting downward. The force that makes the shear force 0 at this point is unknown to us. For example, this is x and x is unknown to us. So minus 4 is the load and x equal to 0. So the point where the shear force is equal to 0 is unknown to us. So it will be equal to 10 is equal to 4x and x is equal to 10 by 4. So x, it comes out to be 2.5. So uh, the simple way is divide this 5 by 2, we got 2.5. So this is the base of the triangle. Now we find out the area of this triangle. So it will be A1 and area is half base into height. So A1 equal to half base is 2.5 and height is 10 so I got here 12.5 so area of this triangle is 12.5 it means it will act in the upward direction so the bending moment will also act in the upward direction with the magnitude of 12.5 kilonewton meter so this is the bending moment at this point where the shear force is zero now we will find the area of this box similarly the, make the length of this is 2.5 meter because 5 meter is the total length of this portion and I, I subtract from 5, 2.5, so I get 2.5 again. So 2.5 into 10, we get the same triangle as this triangle, so the area will also 2.5, but in this case, it will be A2, half, 2.5, and to multiply with the minus 10. This is minus 10, so, so I got minus 12.5. Now, this is minus 12.5 is the area of this triangle. So it is acting in the downward direction, that's why it is minus 12.5. So by adding plus 12.5 and minus 12.5, I got zero. So I will bring this moment at this point equal to zero. Now there is shear force zero, so the bending moment will also be zero. So this is the bending moment diagram for this beam with the uniformly distributed load and this is the shear force diagram with a maximum bending moment of 12.5 kN meter and this is a positive bending moment. Hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.